Africa. You welcome everyone. It's time again for another Instagram live uh, session, but this time it's going to be with the pawn guard for the Tigress of Nigeria. It's in the Kalu, who is in pretty well. Uh, of course, when it comes to the game of basketball, she's won a lot with um, national team. Um, in terms of the Afro Basket Championship, she's won it too with the team. And she's doing pretty well too with her side over there in France. So uh, today we'll be talking about the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, the build up uh, to Tokyo, Tokyo, uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympics. You know, as much as we know uh, this, you know, you might see this has been too early, but I mean, it's never too early to talk about the build up because, you know, uh, basketball lovers can't wait for that, you know, big, big, you know, one. Now, going by what we have in, at stake already, uh, the group for uh, Nigeria, you find the United States, which is one competition that you know uh, you all uh, which which is one game that you all can't wait to see the game between Nigeria and the United States okay so but now uh, I will add um, Izini Kalu to the chat this time because I've been waiting for this one so I mean it's something that you know you all will actually enjoy this evening waiting hi how are you hey what's oh, up so close how to you the doing? camera hold on <laughs> I'm fine thank you how are <laughs> okay. you I'm doing fine. How's everything? How's your day been too? Everything's been good. Uh, it's been a long day here in uh, France. We had an off day today, so that's a good thing. I got to just relax and prepare for yeah. a, a busy week. <laughs> very well, very well. In fact, fans have been waiting for this one, and it promises to be interesting because what we are talk about the build up to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Uh -huh. I mean, it's one tournament that we all can't wait for. Hello? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm can you hear me? I found out. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. The connection is okay, kind of well. going out in and out, <laughs> but that's that's expected in Nigeria. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm really I'm really yeah, I'm really excited. Uh when I found out what group we were gonna be in, um I wasn't surprised at all, honestly. Like I knew we were gonna be in one of the toughest groups. I knew that, you know, we would see USA you again. You surprised you had the United States in your group? No, I was not surprised at all. Wow. I was wow. not surprised at all. Wow. Because okay, is it because was, you played I against them in the FIBA World Cup? Surprised. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think so. And and I know that the drawing for the is, is random. I know that it's random. But um, I think uh -huh. that a lot of people, even God, wants to see us compete against USA again. So I think that, you know, it was, it was, it was expected. <laughs> okay, but okay, before we talk about, you know, the group and everything, what to expect from uh, the detigress of Nigeria, I would like us to talk about you. I mean, your build up uh, to the game of basketball, how you started. I mean, I took time to check uh, some of your statistics and I found out that, you know, you broke a certain record when you were in school. I think you were the first to score. Was it 12,000 points or so? Then, I mean, just let us know how that unfolded. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, last grade, I went to science high Hold on. Ken, are you there? Okay, yeah, sorry, I'm having network issues, but I can hear you now yeah. <laughs> very well. You can go on. Okay, uh, what's the last thing you heard? Um, I, asked, I asked the question. I asked you about you know, a certain record you smashed back then in school. Oh, yeah. Uh, when you scored 2,000 points for your team. 
And that yes. was a record breaker. Yeah. I mean, how did that happen? Yeah, um, it definitely, it didn't happen overnight for sure. Um, I was the first woman to score 2,000, over 2,000 points in high school uh, four years ago. So, and I was the first woman to score over 2,000 points in college as well at Savannah State University. So, uh, interesting. yeah, to do that was just, uh, was a huge accomplishment for, for myself as well as, as well as the school. And um, okay. it definitely did not come easy as well as, every day in the gym, every day practicing, working hard, you know, having the right support system behind me and really putting in the work. And I, I couldn't have done it without my teammates and without, you know, my coaches always, you know, pushing yeah. me to get better. You know, one thing I love about you is that, you know, when you perform well, you tend to give credit to your teammates. I mean, the last time I spoke with you, sure. after, um, after the Olympic, you know, build up to the Olympics too. I think it was at some point uh, last year. I think it was last year. You mentioned the fact that you know your teammate assisted you along the line, which is very cool, which is very cool. But talking about after scoring two thousand points, was that what made you that oh, come on, you can be a very good basketball player with this feet? I'm sorry, you went out. You said you said after scoring two thousand points, oh, what? I said after scoring that. After scoring that figure, was that like a stepping stone for you that gave you that boost? That, hey, come on, girl, you can be a very good basketball player with these feet. Oh, yes, for sure, for sure. I mean, okay. um, with being the first woman to score, with being the first woman to even score that amount of points in, in high school, that yeah. it just made people, you know, want to push me to go even harder to see what else I can do in the future. So that was okay. like that was like a stepping stone you know people were excited to see where i was going to go to college they were excited to see if i was going to go pro they were excited to see you know what team i would play for next so that was a huge stepping stone it made people kind of like open their eyes to kind of see what type of player i will be in the future okay that's that's lovely and at some point you would have faced some challenges do you mind to let us know those challenges you faced along the line yes wow um okay. i've broken my thumb in high school, I broke my ankle in elementary school. I took my ACL in college in 2012 against my rotator cuff. I got soldier surgery. Um, I broke both of my wrists. So I've always had, you know, minor setbacks when it came to, like, injuries. But, um, you know, people think that when you have injuries that it's so easy to just bounce back and to play again. But that, that wasn't the only challenge I faced. You know, I, I faced the mental challenge of not being able to play the games that I love and not being able to practice and not being able to be in the court with my, with my teammates. That was one of the hardest parts. You know, the injuries, you know, you can fight through. You can get through the pain. You can get through the rehab sure. and the therapy. But mentally, it's just a whole nother level of, of focus, a whole nother level of just concentration and, and wanting to get back to the sport. Okay, that's that's quite interesting. And you know, I've seen you do some training. I think it was uh, two weeks ago. I catch up with your live Instagram session where you're trying some dunks and some three pointers and everything. Uh, I mean, yeah. that shows you're preparing, you're working hard on your game. Big yeah, time. for sure, for sure. Um, it's I think that it's important that you know, no matter how good you are, no matter how good you plan to be, there's always room to improve. And me, for yeah. example, I'm not a I'm not a perfect player. I know I'm not the the greatest player in the world, yeah. but if I want to be, I have to put the work in every day. I have to become a gym rat. I have to, you know, really put the work in and, you know, just keep just keep on staying humble and keep on priding myself on hard work because that's always my motto. You know, hard work and dedication. If I stay dedicated to what I want to be and if I stay dedicated to what I want to do, put the heart into it, put the hard work into it, and everything will fall into place. And I've definitely come definitely. A, come a long way, a very long way. <laughs> some of my definitely. coaches that that some of my coaches that's joining this live now can tell you how far I've come. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's nice. That's that's so nice. I mean, okay, you know, one thing about you know basketball players, or let me say, uh, when it comes to sports, once you did not represent your national team, it is not always really. It's not cool for most players. So, but you know, you represented the team. I'm talking about the Tigers of Nigeria. You won the Afro Basket, and not just winning that Afro Basket championship, you were also uh, given the MVP for that yeah. tournament. I mean, how has it been playing for the Nigerian national team? Wow, it's been amazing. Um, I don't know if you know this, Ken, but I started with the junior national team back in 2015. And I started... Wow, with, Algeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah with, uh, with, wow. coach, with Coach Issa Umar and Coach Cook. I started with the younger girls. 
We had oh, training camp too. in Washington D.C. We completed we uh, competed here in France and in, in, in a city called Reze. So I started with a younger team, and to have that experience and being a sophomore in college, that was a huge beginning to me playing for the senior team now. So when we fast forward three, four years later, me now playing with the senior team, it's just like God literally works in mysterious ways because Joyce reached out to me through email. She told me about the senior team and the tryouts, and she's like, you know, I think it would be good to come try out for the team. And this is 2016, and I've just been with them ever since. And to see the accomplishments wow. I've made individually, I did you well with the team. Yeah, to see the accomplishments that I've made individually with the te- with the team, and to see the co- accomplishments that I've made as a whole with the team, it just goes yeah. to show that I've really been putting the work in. You know, it's it's great to right. get the MVP. It's great to score 2,000 points, but to know that I'm a champion, to know that we are undefeated yeah. champions, to know that we are planning the olympics that's huge it's, it's bigger yeah, than me you know crazy. it's so it's so <laughs> much bigger than me so it's wow just, it's been a blessing to be able to play for the team seriously well it's been a blessing wow that's mm-hmm. that's so interesting so and, and playing for the team you know um which of your teammates um i mean talking about other guests in the team they are very good top-notch mm-hmm. basketball players you talk about i promise you talk about even akato adara lodu atonye mm-hmm. gifa top girls in that team i mean mm-hmm. but which of them you know do you think you know has been that you know player that has always you know sparked you up that in terms of motivation that's giving you that support in that team definitely there'll be one player i mean who is that uh, player Honestly, Ken, there's not one player. There's all of them. Ooh. All of them. Wow. All my teammates on the team, all my teammates that's on the court with me and all my teammates that's on the bench have always, you know, motivated me to go harder, motivated me to, you know, be a leader, be vocal, and to, like, really, to really, 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 you know, have a voice to continue on what we're doing. You know, it's not one player who I'm close with or it's not one player. It's everybody because we are family, we're a team. If I'm not doing well... Right. None of us are doing well, you know. If Evelyn's not doing yeah. well, none of us are doing well. If uh, if Adora is not doing well, if Promise is not doing well, none of us are doing well. So all of us, right. everybody has had a collective effort in, you know, keeping us motivated, making us go hard, making us compete. And honestly, without wow. without them, I, I wouldn't even be here, you know. Well, sure, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And that's that nice, nice, you know, contribution coming from Evelyn, um, isn't it, Kalu, rather? Uh, for those just joining this chat, you know, we're talking about the build up uh, to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Like, you know, the targets have a very tricky group. And of course, as Isine just said that, you know, she's really happy with the group that she wasn't surprised yeah. to find USA and um, Japan and France in the group that they are ready for the challenge. But not just that, we're yet to get to that one yet. But what, what I want to talk about is that game between Nigeria and the United States. I saw how you perform. I've been watching that clips virtually every week, <laughs> and I saw, how, <laughs> I saw how you perform in that game. I mean, what kind of, I mean, why did you perform like that against the United States? Like, I mean, that's where you reside, for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they wasn't too, too angry with me. But um, not just not just against just USA. I, I feel like no matter who I play against uh, any team, whether okay. it's a top team or bottom team, I always want to give out, go out and give a hundred percent, you know, I always want to leave it all out on the floor. I always want to, you know, be that person to just, that's always active. That's always being vocal. That's just giving as much as I can, because you never know who's watching. I, you never know sure. who you're, you never know who you're motivating. You never know who, sure who's out there, you know, trying to scout you or trying to, you know, do the best to to prepare for their next match against us. So when we played against yeah. USA, my only goal was to just play play my game, you know, play the game that I only know how, and that's to give 100%. And it was the same against uh, Serbia. It was the same against Mozambique. It was the same against, you know, Senegal. All the teams that we play, I, I, I never look at the name on the front of the jersey. I just... If I'm uh-huh. asked to pick one, I'm going to be against the United States. <laughs> <laughs> from both yeah. ends, you won, mm-hmm. you won the balls. There were some steals you made in that game, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, from both ends, you were very active. So, for me, I, I mean, you are giving your own point, but for me, I think that game against the United States was the best of Izini. Yeah. And also, too, I, got, I do got to be honest. I think that it was important that I do play really well against USA because, I mean, I've been playing overseas for the past six years now. 
And one yeah. of my goals, one of my goals have always been to play in WNBA, you know, whether it's now or whether it's three, four years from True. now, it doesn't matter. So I want to, I, anytime I play against USA, I want to make a statement, you know, that I belong to, I, that I belong with those girls on the floor. I'm able to compete with those girls on the floor. The same players that are playing in the WNBA, I can compete with them on this level or the next level. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. so I've exactly. always made it, you know, my my goal to just give 100%, give an extra, actually give 110% when playing at USA. Okay, uh, what's your, your strength and your weakness? I mean, when it comes to three-pointers, is three-pointers your strength or your ability to navigate your way down to Because I know you're very skillful. You know how to, you know, walk on the ball, make some step over, a crossover rather, uh, yeah. with the ball. So, I mean, which is your strength and your weakness? Just let us know. Oh, you don't want us to know your weakness? Um, Come on. No, it's perfectly fine because I've, I've been working on okay. I- improving my weaknesses. Um, one of my strengths okay. has always been my defense. Uh, you guys you guys know, everybody that watches know I love to defend. They know I love to be on the ball. They, lo- they know I love to steal a ball. Uh, one of my weaknesses is probably I would I would think my three pointers. You know I'm not always consistent as I want to be. Um, I've okay. definitely been working on it. You know trying to perfect it. I want it. I want it to be. I want to be a threat. You know outside from the arc. I want people to think to themselves, Wow, we can't leave Esme open because she'll make this. You know, okay. I do have games in with Nigeria and here in France where I can make four or five threes, and then there's some games where I don't make any threes at all. You know. So that's yeah. always one of my weaknesses. I just, I just really have to just focus on, you know, staying consistent, you know, knocking the shots down when I'm open, and you know, giving my team that confidence in me to know, okay, if Kalu has the ball in her hand, she can make this shot. I know she's gonna make this shot, you know. So that's always one of the weaknesses that I want to continue to improve on every day, and it's, it's definitely getting better. It's definitely getting better. Okay, getting better. When it comes to three pointers in the NBA, which player are you going with? I mean, or that player you are learning from when it comes to three pointers? Everybody loves Steph. I mean, uh-huh. is this Steph? Yeah, everybody loves Steph. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't watched okay. the NBA game in so long, but okay, there are so many great shooters. Um, I don't know who's the best. James Harden. James Harden. I, I've been seeing he's like the best MVP right now. So I think I will maybe choose him. I haven't seen the NBA game in so long, Kim. So I don't really know who's shooting what from the three, but I think he's one of the best players right now. So I will probably go with him. I'm surprised I'm not going with your best player, Kemba Walker. <laughs> Is he? You know, that's one of my, you know, that's one of my idols. That's one of my, yeah, yeah. one of my me inspirations. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's cool. It's fine. It's fine. James Harden there. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk about the Olympics now. Um, uh, last mm-hmm. year it was postponed of, due to the emergence of the COVID nineteen pandemic, understandably, but definitely, God willing, it should be going down this year. And the first game is going to yes. be between Nigeria and the United States, twenty seventh of July, I think. Yeah, twenty seventh of July. Oh, that's the first that's game. When the, yeah, that's the first game. I think I checked that before. Now it's the first game. So. Oh wow! Okay. What are you thinking? are you thinking right now? I mean, the build up to uh, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Um, I'm thinking that, I mean, obviously we're not at the Olympics yet. So we have a few months okay. to prepare. You know, we have April, sure. we have May, we have June. And I think that those four months that we have will really, really get us ready mentally and physically for the, the matches that we have. I did not know okay. that USA was going to be the first game. So that's even more exciting. Sure. I just knew about the group, but I didn't know, like, what days we were going to be playing. And um, I think that first game will definitely be a game for us to, you know, get out, get out the nervousness, get out the jitter buzz of, of playing in the Olympics arena. And I think that I think that we will do well. You know, I think that if we just continue to stay locked in these next four months for camp and if we, you know, if we really have a game plan, we really do our scout and we really come in focused, then everything will be fine. Like, I, I don't think that we're scared or nervous. Um, obviously, we'll be ex- super excited because it's the Olympics. Like, who did? Like, it's the Olympics, you know. Yeah, so I think that <laughs> I think that yeah, I think that the first few minutes will be us kind of like getting the excitement out, and and then after that is is game on. It's game on. Okay, yeah. United States team have been dominating the world of basketball. Yes. 
they have dominating big time and um it's no more a goal it's a standard they have set and you know and that's what the tigers of Nigeria are trying to achieve right now mm. we're trying to look for, oh how can we do we have, we have dominated africa big time so it's time for us to take that to the world now yes and you know where will be that factor where can we work on to achieve you know this certain feat mm. I think the biggest thing that we need to work on is just um, really knowing how to how to win the game, how to close out a game. You know, um, like for example, like for example, when we were winning against uh, USA, when we were up 10, 20 yeah, points. I think, yeah, I think that we got so relaxed and we got so content with already qualified for the Olympics that we didn't really stay strong and we really didn't continue yeah. to continue to push and keep the keep our foot on the gas. So I think that that's our main thing, just closing out the wins, knowing when to, when to finish the game, all the way down to the clock says zero. And I think that once we figure that out, then everything will be fine. You know, when we... Can you, can you hear me? Hey, Nigerian connection. Nigerian <laughs> network. <laughs> That's Nigeria for you, man. Yeah. But oh, we used to it already. We used to it too. So. Did you hear so me? So you, you can go on. If you want. Are you done? You can go on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what, what was the last thing you heard? Because I don't want to repeat. Yeah, you were talking about, you know, what, what you should work on. Uh, you mentioned uh, Mozambique, Senegal, oh, how yes, tough yes, yes. they were and how you Games. Yeah, yeah. I think that with uh, with African teams, we're always able to finish out the game, finish out strong. But I think that we have to put that same element of finishing out the game when we play against European teams like the Serbias and the France and the USA. It's important that we keep our foot in the sure. gas, and it's important that we really close out the game completely and not be content with just qualifying or just winning. You know, we really have to keep our foot in the gas and close out the game to zero zero on the clock. Okay. And, you know, um, apart from United States, you know, we have Japan, mm. we have France. And no doubt, yeah. these are tricky teams. They will give you a big run for your money in no time. So, but mm. um, which of these two you expect, you know, to find it easy playing against? Is it France or Japan? Or which one? Ooh, I don't think any team would be, would be easy. But if I had to choose, oh, you're going to get me in trouble, Ken. Um, okay. you know what? You know what? I know, I, I know you. I don't, you won't I don't know. That. I don't know. <laughs> and you can go on. You can go on. No problem. Now understand. So you won't be um, seeing yourself in the newspaper tomorrow. Is in it said Japan? Yeah. Yes. Please. <laughs> yes. Please. Okay. That please. That's the last. That I don't word. need Coach Otis calling me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay. Let, let me let me ask you this way. Let me ask you this way. You know. Which, with those three teams in the group, do you think you guys have what it takes to make you through to the next round? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, I think that we definitely uh, made a statement when it comes to playing against uh, teams outside of Africa. I think that we've done a good job of knowing, well, showing people that we can play with the top teams on the top levels, on top stages. And I think yeah. that it'll be, it'll, it'll be really exciting to see. It, it won't be easy. I mean, that's why we have the training camps to prepare us for for the, for the tough games. But you know, I think that I think that we definitely have a really great chance. And I hope that you know Nigeria is behind us, and I hope that other countries are behind us and they see how far we've come, and we just we just go from there. We just take it one game at a time. Okay, um, I personally am wishing you all all the best for that. I'm I'm Thank supporting you. you very well from here. And I believe you guys can do well. We've got talent in that mm -hmm. team. Uh, for the fact, we have some new players too. Players that will also add I mean, yeah. to what we've got. And, um, man, I, I believe we can do well. So, okay, let me take a look at some of the comments here. You know, one, uh, someone said, I should mention his name, okay, Azixis 2018. Uh, also talking about Nigeria, next afro Fidel, Nigeria, Senegal, next afro Fidel. Definitely expect a beating too in that one. So, yeah, okay, you can also expect. If, if you want to, if you want to ask Ezine Kalu a question on this chat, you can send it now. Uh, so we can actually, you know, ask her uh, before we leave. So, um, but, you know, talking about, still talking about the Olympics now, um, I believe that, you know, there will be is your objective, okay, a certain finish. I know, okay, if you should finish like this, Nigerians will be very happy. 
Mm-hmm. Or you, you have an objective to achieve? Yeah, for sure. Um, our objective is to make the podium. I mean, I don't think that anybody goes to the Olympics and to not make the podium. Um, like I said before, that's going to be very tough. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I don't, I don't doubt that at all. It's going to be very tough. I love um, the fact that you're ready for any challenge. Yeah, like, yeah. Bring it on. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Because I feel like we've yeah. can we we worked so hard for this. You know, we've came we've come a long way, not just dealing with stuff on the court but off the court as well. We've come a long way, and I'm excited to see what that drive and what all that emotion will build up to turn into once the Olympics come. You know, we're all we yeah, already okay. have the we already have the adrenaline rush from the Olympics being canceled the first time. You know, we've come to we sure. had a ten, we have the ten day camp uh, early this month. We were excited to see each yeah, other. You yeah, know, sure. new coaches, new staff, new players. All the excitement is building up. So these next four months of camp will just nothing will be nothing but more excitement, more more adrenaline, more just more okay. more game ready attitude. And I think that our goal is to make the podium for sure, whether it's gold silver or bronze you know to be able to win yeah. any of those three will be an amazing feeling that's going to be remarkable yes. it's going to be remarkable yes and yes. gold or bronze will be a remarkable for this yes. by the team for sure okay um there's a question here pelusica asks, asking you a question he says what's your pre-match ritual <laughs> um my pre-match ritual um i listen to music well for starters when i wake up on game day i pray that's the first thing i do i pray to god for waking oh, okay. me up in the morning i pray for let him continue for me to let do what I've been doing, play the sport that I love. And then after that, I put my uniform on. I listen to music. I eat a light lunch. And I just, oh. you know, prepare. My, I look at the scouts to see where I'm going to play. And I just kind of prepare my mind for how I want the game to go, what I expect from myself from the game, what I expect from my teammates from the game, and just what I expect okay. from the game in general, you know. And, Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's interesting. So this is another question from E.O. Elliott saying, are you planning on attending any WNBA camp or trying to join that league? Yes. Um, yes, I do plan on joining the WNBA camp. I'm not sure when. Um, my agent has been working, of course, uh, so I'm not sure when I will have time to go to the uh, WNBA camp in between our training camps. But when that time comes, I'll make sure I keep everybody posted. Okay, talking about your quest to make it through to the WNBA, mm-hmm. you're working on that presently with your club, London Law. Yeah, yeah you're, working, you're working on that presently. And you're averaging, I mean, you have impressive figures too. Um, how have you taken, how far have your game level gone playing for London Law in France? It's definitely went up immensely. Um, France is one of the top leagues to play in. It's very aggressive and... And I, and I, yeah, and I enjoy playing against talented players uh, every weekend or every week. Um, and I like that the coaches encourage you to come in the gym or on your free time. They encourage you to really put the work in. They have an open door policy, so if you ever feel like you need to work on your game, they're always there to help you. And it's exciting. Um, this is my with the team. Um, I'm not supposed to tell anyone this, but I re-signed again for next season. Nobody knows that but you. So you just got the exclusive. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to see uh, how how next season it will be. Okay, talking about you know you have won some you know awards playing in France. I think you know you were the guard of the year in France, the first division, right? Yeah. You joined 2019. Isn't it how easy for you to just start winning <laughs> awards just like that in the first season? <laughs> uh, it's hard work now. It's hard work. It's just me every day just no putting the work in. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it definitely wasn't easy at all. Um, last okay. year I was actually surprised when my agent told me that I won the award. Um, guard wow. of the year and like import uh first team all import. So that was huge, you know, and and it it just come from me just standing in the gym, working on my game, really putting in the work and and not wanting anything less for myself. You know, I have so many high expectations for myself. I know people have, I know people expect a lot from me, but for myself, I have high expectations and I always try to write them down and to exceed all of them. You know, whether it's going to the gym for an extra hour or whether it's going to the weight room for to get stronger or to get bigger or whether it's watching film on, on my opponent so I can know how to beat them or how to stop them. It's just, I'm just always doing something extra to make sure that I'm, um, you know, put myself in the best position to be successful. 
Sublime, sublime. Yeah. I just mentioned one, you know, award. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, I see I have like four or five in front of me. The first team all imports in France, uh, the first team all French player. I can go on and on. I mean, it's, it's quite, you know, it's quite interesting that, you know, um, you have been accumulating laurels over there in France, and that should be enough. That is even bolstering your credentials. It's bolstering your credentials as well, you know. If any club want to get you into WNBA, WNBA, you have the start already, and you have the laurels with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, but I love the fact that, I love the fact that you have, um, we have two Nigerian players in France, mm -hmm. and we have more than two. We have more than two, yeah. and of course, and all, you all are doing well. Uh, talking about Evelyn Akato, mm -hmm. is also doing. She's also doing pretty well too with her team. And you know, uh, when you when yes. you guys play against each other, how is it like? You know, two Nigerian players facing off in a game. Yeah. I mean, how is it like? We actually played against each other yesterday, and her team beat us. And um, wow, yeah. <laughs> Her team beat us, and a few and we we a few weeks before that we played Promise Team, and we beat their team, and we actually played Promise Team again on Wednesday, so we traveled there. So that'd be it. I'll make sure I send the link so you can watch that one. But <laughs> uh, playing against those two is always fun, you know, because when I see them before the game, we get to talk and laugh and then joke a little bit, and then once we step on the court, it's like okay, play time is over, you know. <laughs> Our goal is to beat each other. Our goal is to you know really compete at the next level. Um, Evelyn usual is unstoppable. You know, she's a powerhouse at the floor. She's a powerhouse at the floor. She's a, one of the powerhouses on her team. And uh promise as well is like Yeah. Okay. I'm um, don't worry. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. All right, she's back. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'm clueless too. I'm clueless. I don't know. I mean, I've had better come before this, so. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, oh, yeah, so about uh, Evelyn and Promise, they, it's, it's always exciting playing against those two, just to see those girls and be able to compete against them and, you know, have a good time is always a good feeling. Um, Evelyn is a powerhouse, as usual. You know, plan for Big a time. team. Yeah, she's always unstoppable. I mean, rebounds, block okay, shots. Wait, wait, before you go on, before you go on, playing against Evelyn, I know, I think she's more of a defensive player. She works on rebounds well. Yeah. I played against her and she Yes, that's what giving, giving us real props. <sighs> Don't worry, guys. Um, Isn't it with John? She was going to join again, so that's how funny network can be at times. And it's so sad, and it's happening tonight. I mean... Just wait. Okay. No vex. <laughs> no vex. <laughs> that might, network be, that might be the France network as well. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, France network, Nigeria network, giving us issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was, was asking a question. Evelyn. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking about Evelyn Akato guiding you. I know she's more of a defensive player. 
She works on the branch real well. Imagine Evelyn guiding you. How is it difficult, you know, get passing the R? Um, it's definitely difficult because I know because I know that if I blow by her and I go for the lip, that it's a chance that she might block my shot. And I know that if I shoot the ball directly in front of her, it's also a chance that she might block my shot. So when I'm when Evelyn's guarding me, I just try to use my speed. I try to use my IQ. I try to add a little pump fake to kind of get her flying in the air because I know she'll jump. And that's all it is. It's just, you know, trying to just outsmart her sometimes. Okay. Outsmarting uh, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. I can't say, okay. Okay. Um, you're, still, you're still in France now. Um, yes. We've got, we've got, you know, I, I'd like you to pick one of those teams you wish to join in the WNBA or you want to avoid that question? Um, no, I don't. I can I can answer that question. I really wouldn't mind playing. Well, it's three teams that I would like to play for. I would like to play for the New York Liberty because that they're, they're close to my hometown in New Jersey, so it'd be easy for okay. my mom to commute and come watch the games. I don't mind okay. playing for the Atlanta Dream because the city of oh. Atlanta is amazing. I think that you know, outside of the outside of the court in Atlanta, I think that I could really flourish my brand outside of that. And I wouldn't mind playing for the Sparks in LA. I mean, I, I've never been out oh. west before. I love That's the right. sun, and that'd be that'd be a great feeling. Wow, it's, it's gonna be a good feeling. I mean, we are winding down uh, gradually, but because I would, I'd like you to talk, you know, so I like us talk about some stuff outside the Nigeria basketball, okay. and um, that's you know talking about the NBA now. You said you don't watch NBA, like you have not watched any game this season because you have been so busy with your team, practicing, traveling from France to United States and all of that. I understand. So, but, you know, all time, all time, which is your best NBA side? All time. Um, I've always been a Kobe fan, rest in peace. But if I had to choose okay. one of my favorites now, I would definitely say Kyrie Irving. Outside, outside of Kimball Walker, he's still my favorite all time. But I would definitely have to say Kyrie Irvin is definitely but one of my next I'll come. favorites. I'll come. The last time I discussed with you, you mentioned Kemba Walker. Mm -hmm. um, He's still How do you not choose Kyrie Irvin over Kemba Walker? How come? Oh, no, no. I'm not choosing Kyrie over Kemba Walker. If I had to choose between the two, Kemba Walker will always be one of my top favorites. But okay. because I haven't watched because I, because I haven't watched NBA so much and the games that I do watch is always just of of Kyrie playing you know games that I can catch quickly, and I've been seeing him I've been seeing Kyrie Irving play a lot lately, and I really love his game I really love how he takes the leadership role you know with having two big stars on his team James Harden and Kevin sure. Durant, I really love that you know he's you know really really setting the tone for for guards for point guards shooting guards and. I just love what he brings to what he brings to any team, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Okay, so talk about Kyrie Irving, and I want to talk about Brooklyn Nets, where you have James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving. Some people believe this is a championship winning team. Can they do that this season? Yeah, I think so. Uh, when I first saw the saw the announcement of the team on Bleacher Report, I was like, "Whoa! Like, will this work?" Wow. <laughs> but um, now that I see them playing with each other, and now that I see like you know how they're all you know, playing their roles really well. They're definitely a championship team. They're definitely a hard team to beat because they have so many threats. And um, it could, honestly, anybody can win a championship, but I think they, they definitely have a good chance of winning, for sure. Okay. I think, you know, let, let's just leave it at that. But I would like you to, I would like you, to you know, um, send some message to Nigerians in anticipating the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Uh, what should they expect? To my fellow Nigerians, you know, expect us to to do really great things. We our goal is to make the podium. Our goal is to you know make you guys proud. Our goal is to just really, really wear the Nigerian jersey with pride, with poise, being, with professionalism. And we just want you all to just keep you know keep tuning into the games, keep supporting us, keep liking and subscribing and posting on on all the reporters' pages to get the recognition of us out there. And really just, you know, just trust us and believe in us because we believe in ourselves. So if we if we know that you all believe in us, then, you know, we will go so much further. Okay, so that's a big message. And, of course, a massive message coming from Aizen Ekalu to all Nigerians, you know, ahead of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. So you, you guys will expect, you know, a very good performance from the Nigerian national team. And I believe they won't disappoint us. So, you know, hopefully you join us next time before the Olympics. Yes. I hope we're going to do this again. Yes, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I hope network won't act like this. I know, I know, right? <laughs>
All right, you know, have a lovely night. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Right. Yeah, bye. Okay. So. There you go, guys. It's the end of the chat already. I'm sure you guys enjoyed it. And apologies for the network. It, was, it wasn't so cool at some point, but I mean, for you guys, I'm sure you enjoyed the chat. Yes, if um, it's in a Kalu, um, telling us what to expect from the Nandra basketball team, the female team, uh, knowing fully well that they have a tricky group in France, Japan, and United States, which is going to be you know, really tough for them. But she believes they can go all the way to shock you know, everyone in that particular tournament. It's going to be very positive, and that's what I've actually picked from the chat with it's in a Kalu this you know, evening. So thank you very much for watching. Expect more Instagram live on this, my page. You can follow me now. Of course, share to your friends. Follow me. I've got a lot, you know, to talk on this page when it comes to basketball, especially the build up the Tokyo twenty twenty Olympics. And not just Tokyo twenty twenty, the NBA also, I mean, all on